एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज अस्लीशा सिंह एंड टुडे विल बी डूइंग अनदर कुकिंग वीडियो दिस विल बी द मोस्ट इजीएस्ट इवनिंग स्नैक्स एंड इट्स सो इजी इट्स विद द सिंपलेस्ट इंग्रेडिएंट्स यू कैन फाइंड इट एट होम एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड बिकॉज यू कैन से इट्स माय ओरिजिनल रेसिपी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड बिफोर वी डू एज आई ऑलवेज से डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड subscribe press the bell icon so you don't miss notifications when i pre- when i upload new videos so everybody we are going to start with the ingredients so first first we have some black pepper then we have some chaat masala then we have some salt then we have an egg then um we have some cheese spread and then we have some mozzarella cheese and then we have so uh, a cheese slice the peri peri cheese slice so you can choose any of these three they are optional i'm going to try with both each of them either you can use the cubed diced mozzarella cheese or you can use peri peri cheese slices or any cheese slice or you can use some cheese spread i'm going to try all five three of these then we need some butter softened butter milk all purpose flour or maida bread crumbs bread crumbs you can um, or either food process it do it with your own hands or you can buy it in the market i didn't found it in the market so i did it myself but i'm telling you it's worth it so the first thing we need to do is to soften out our boiled mashed potato so i have boiled this mashed potato and i'm going to soften it out you can see how soft my mashed potato is after that i'm going to add like half teaspoon of milk into this and i'm going to add like five drops of oil going to mix it it's for even more softening you need to make sure that your um, potato boiled potato mashed potato is very very soft then we are going to add in some all purpose flour we are going to add in little by little right now mix it so we need to form it like a dough more it's okay i like cooking so i'm gonna do this once again so it even more and i'm going to continue this process until i think it's like dough cuz you need a dough in this add some more flour make sure to add little by little not all at once because then you just won't get the thing i'm getting right now i'm loving it I think it's go it's forming its shape you can see it's becoming like a dough type of texture and before it does that I'm going to add a little bit of softened butter some softened butter it really enhances the so this potato this mashed potato and uh, flour really plays a big part in the recipe because that's what we are making everything of it's going to stick a bit like it's happening to me right now but eventually it's going to be dry it before so you can see that it's really not coming together right now before it comes together i'm going to add a bit of black pepper so now i have um added now we have added salt to taste pinch of chaat masala and black pepper and now i have kneaded it into a dough you can see how good this looks it's very soft it's very tender it's very fragile and now we are going to go to the main part now we are going to start 
doing the preparation to fry. So now um, I have transferred this this very soft and very good looking dough into a plate and now I'm going to with a brush going to apply some oil on it both on the both on the both sides we have to do this try to do it on the corners also so now it looks now it looks good and I think it's ready and now we can start our preparation part so I'm going to take a bit of this dough you can take it according to the size you want and I'm going to roll this into a circle like this looks good and then I'm going to press it not a lot but um, it should be thin I think it should be a little bit thin like that and that looks awesome and then we are going to add for this one I'm doing the most diced mozzarella cheese we are going to add the mozzarella do not add a lot of mozzarella cheese because when you fry it then it will burn and then everything's gone one two just going to remove a bit because I think that's too much and I'm going to pack it like that I think I'm going to do it in the I'm trying to do it in the shape of a nugget types looks like momos and I'm going to press it and that's done and similarly I'm going to do each of these now it looks like these don't they look cute I use the diced one I used I don't use this one. You can use it. I'm telling you, it will work. So now I am going to try to pack the sack. I think you can skip this part. Vegetarians, if you are a vegetarian, you can definitely skip this part. But uh, I think I'll do it. I am not good at this. Okay. So now I have done that. So now this egg is done. After much, much hard work, I finally cracked it. Then we are going to add some milk. And that's some milk you got there. It's like five tablespoons, you can say. And then we are going to whisk it together. Mix. You can, like I said, once again I'm saying, you can skip this if you're a vegetarian. But if you're not, I recommend it. Because it makes the bread, bread crumbs stick. And now I'm going to mix it. Yep, that's done. Just keep it there. And now for the final part, I am going to dip this. So I'm not going to do it with my hand, obviously. I'm going to dip it. I'm going to try to, you know, get all like that. That's one. I'm going with the second one now. And that's the second one. flaming it's getting hot and it's on medium flame now let's come back to these little guys so I'm going to try to pick it up my hands gets get a little messy I'm getting messy but I hardly care so I'm gonna top it with some breadcrumbs like that wow that looks good see the reason I'm using egg because the breadcrumbs stick to our snack and that's one now I'm going to gently just put this here and that's boiling till the time it's doing I'll move on to my next one do not over fry it otherwise everything will just go to waste as soon as they turn light golden brown you have to take them out that's doing that's good that's good that's good wow that looks amazing
So my mom is helping me out in frying. So if you're one of my friends, that is, if you are children, please ask your parents or your elder siblings to do this. I do not recommend doing this on your own. So now it's golden brown and I think we should take it out. Here goes the second one. I am dipping the third one into the breadcrumbs like that. And now you can see, wow, this looks so pretty. I can't wait to eat it. And here comes, I, I try, I like breadcrumbs a lot. It brings the crunchiness. So you should put them very nicely. Here comes another one. Into the pan. And now these are frying. Oh my god, these look so fantastic. I mean, just look at their color. And, um... I mean, wow, and and you can see these little curry leaves that I put on. They're actually homegrown and the smell is fantastic. I'm going to try and break them now. I hope I don't make a mess about that. Oh my God, see this cheesiness. See how good it looks, people. It stretches and oh my God, it's so good. I didn't expect it to be that good. The moment after it. Oh, it's hot. I should get a Nobel Prize about for <laughs> this. For inventing this recipe. I mean, wow, this is so tasty. I can't believe I actually made this. With the help of you, mom, of course. And uh, I'm so happy about it. So, you should definitely try this at home. It's 100% recorded, um, recommended. And I really think that it's very good as an evening snack. So, that was all for today, guys. And I hope you liked this video. This was my own recipe. And... Uh, See you next time in my other video. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon. I love you guys.